So you have learned how to use the wizard in MySQL Workbench to create unmodified databases. These tools are really helpful and they increase our productivity. But if you want to become a database administrator, you need to understand the script that these tools generate. So every time they generate a script for you, you need to review it and make sure it doesn't have any bad impacts on your database. So over the next few lectures, we're going to look at a few more SQL statements like create database, create table, and so on. Once you learn this, you'll be able to create databases or modify them by hand without relying on these visual tools. So in this lecture, we're going to look at two statements. One is create database for creating a new database, and this will be an empty database without any tables. Now let's give this database a name, like SQL underline store two. Let's execute this. Now, here we have this new database. If we execute this statement one more time, we're gonna get an error. So a better approach is to include if not exists keywords here. So create database if not exists. And now we can execute this multiple times without getting an error. We also have drop database for deleting a database. But here we remove the not keyword. So drop database if exists. And now our database is gone. I'm going to recreate it one more time because we're going to use it over the next few lectures. So create database if not exists. Next, we're going to look at the create table statement. 